These inmates are deliberately trying to infect themselves with COVID-19, thinking they will win an early release. Surveillance video shows them passing around a mask, believed to be contaminated with the virus. And this video shows other inmates sharing cups filled with hot water, also believed to be contaminated with COVID-19. Within a week of those incidents at this LA County Jail, 30 inmates did come down with COVID-19, but any hopes they had of an early release were dashed. They were simply transferred to a medical facility. The surveillance video is what really was an, an eye-opener. It's like, it was hard to wrap your mind around that either. Why would people intentionally try to infect themselves? But this is exactly what happened. In Chicago, this family is asking some tough questions. Unique Clay's family says she tested positive for COVID-19 while in labor, but the hospital sent her home, where she died three days later. Ann McCogliano spoke with her parents and sister. Do you think the hospital should have kept her? The doctor that delivered my granddaughter, he wouldn't have sent his daughter home if she tested positive for the COVID. A hospital statement said the University of Chicago Medicine community extends the deepest sympathy to the family, but would not comment further, citing privacy laws. I seen the lights go out on Broadway. And a telethon to support New Yorkers impacted by the coronavirus crisis featured Billy Joel, J-Lo, Mariah Carey, Bon Jovi, and many other stars. It raised $115 million and moved host Tina Fey to tears. $115 million, what a great day for New York. Thank you to everyone who gave and gave and gave from all over the world.